Neurology quiz number 63. What are the clinical features of Friedrich's ataxia? Which drug was approved by the FDA in 2023 for treatment of this condition? Friedrich's ataxia is an inherited ataxia. Classification of inherited ataxias is complicated because of the large number of subtypes and extensive phenotypic overlap. A suggested classification is as follows. Autosomal dominant cerebellar ataxia. Most of these are the spinocerebellar ataxias with more than 40 different kinds. A number is assigned based on the order in which the disease was identified and they range from SCA1 to SCA48. SCO, SCA3 or Mercado-Joseph disease is the most common worldwide followed by 1, 2, 6 and 7. Included in this group is DRPLA or dentato rubro pallido lysian atrophy, which has a complex presentation and has not been given an SCA number. Autosomal recessive hereditary ataxias. This includes Friedrich's ataxia and conditions such as Refsum disease and ataxia telangiectasia. Friedrich's ataxia and ataxia telangiectasia are the most common in this group. Episodic ataxias. These are all autosomal dominant. They are characterized by periods from minutes to hours of unsteady gait, often associated with nystagmus or dysarthria. Myokymia, vitigo, and hearing loss occur in some subtypes. They are labeled EA1 to EA7 and are caused by mutations in the potassium, calcium, and sodium channel genes. Spastic ataxias or SPACs refers to ataxias that have a prominent component of spasticity. They are labeled SPACs1 to SPACs5. SPAX1 is autosomal dominant, while the rest are autosomal recessive. Friedrich's ataxia is the most common inherited ataxia and affects 1 in 50,000 people. It results from a mutation in the Fritaxin gene located on chromosome 9. A trinucleotide repeat expansion in the gene causes the disease. Fritaxin is involved in mitochondrial regulation of iron homeostasis and ATP production. Deficiency of fritaxin causes cell death, especially of neurons, cardiac cells, and pancreatic beta cells. There is loss of large myelinated fibers in the dorsal root ganglia and progressive loss of myelinated fibers in the ventral and dorsal, spinocerebellar tracts, posterior columns, and pyramidal tracts with secondary gliosis. Other structures affected include the dentate nucleus, cerebellar peduncles, optic tracts, and lower cranial nerves. Pathological changes in the cardiac cells cause hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is a T1 weighted MRI in a patient with late onset Friedrich's ataxia showing cerebellar atrophy and atrophy of the upper cervical spine. Friedrich's ataxia affects males and females equally. Age of presentation is commonly 8 to 15 years. Gait ataxia is the usual presenting symptoms. Patients exhibit a wide base gait and with progression. Features noted include limb and trunkal ataxia, titubation, and coriform movements. Patients subsequently require a walker or wheelchair and become bedridden. Cranial nerve involvement leads to dysphagia and dysarthria, and involvement of the eighth and optic nerves can cause a decrease in vision and hearing. Additional findings on examination include areflexia, impaired joint position sense with extensor planters, as well as pest cavus and kyphoscoliosis. Systemic abnormalities include hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in 50% of patients and diabetes in 10%. Cause of death is often cardiac, but respiratory compromise due to motor difficulty and spinal deformity can contribute. Atypical presentations include late onset Friedrich's ataxia with onset after age 25 and very late onset Friedrich's ataxia with onset after age 40. Typically, disease progression in these patients is slower. These figures show pes cavus, which is often referred to as Friedrich's foot, and the other figure shows the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Treatment drugs. In 2023, the FDA approved the drug omoveloxolone or Skyclaris as the first treatment for Friedrich ataxia for patients who are 16 years or older. This approval was based on a 48-week randomized controlled trial, which is referred to as the MOXI Part 1 and 2 trials. Individuals who received the drug performed better on the modified 
Friedrich ataxia rating scale than patients who receive placebo. The medication is given in a dose of 150 milligrams per day. Major adverse effects included headache, fatigue, myalgias, nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and elevated liver enzymes. Mechanism of action. In Friedrich ataxia, mitochondrial dysfunction and impairment in energy production cause chronic inflammation and vulnerability to oxidative stress. The drug is postulated to activate nuclear factor erythroid 2 related factor 2 or NRF2, a transcription factor that restores mitochondrial function, reduces oxidative stress and promotes resolution of inflammation. This figure shows the mechanism of action of Skytclaris. Freitaxin deficiency impairs mitochondrial function with increased production of reactive oxygen species. This causes inflammation and further ROS production, creating a vicious cycle leading to cellular dysfunction. Omoveloxolone activates NRF2, leading to transcription of cytoprotective proteins that counteract oxidative and inflammatory stress and improve mitochondrial function. Other treatment in Friedrich's ataxia is primarily supportive and includes PTOT, gait training, orthopedic procedures when indicated, and cardiology consultation.